You've learned the story about how God created the world, right? We all know that story. And how he made then also a garden in which he put his first people, Adam and Eve. It was in this beautiful garden where everything was perfect. They had all the food they would need, everything you could want to be happy. But as we heard in our first reading today, the devil, that bad angel, he hated God. And so he disguised himself as the serpent to trick Adam and Eve. And instead of trusting God and, and turning to God and asking for his help when they didn't know what to do, instead, that first woman and man disobeyed and ate from the tree that God had told them not to. Because of that, Adam and Eve could no longer stay in the garden. Because the garden had been ruined by the sin. And all the evil, all the bad things we see in the world today, all the bad things we do, is because of that ruin that came because of that original sin. But, even right after that happened, God had a plan. He planned to make us new again and to get us free from sin. And so just when he made the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, that he put them in a garden, perfect garden, before he would do that, before he'd make us new and fix what sin had done, he would make another garden. And this other garden that he would make would be a place where sin would never get in. There would never be any sin there. The first garden, a garden that would be so perfect and so pure that God would send his own son, Jesus, into that garden. And that garden was our blessed mother Mary. She's like a garden. God gave to Mary the great gift that she would never have any sin in her. So just as Jesus, when he was a tiny baby, was growing inside of his mother Mary, just like Adam lived in the garden, right? So Mary's kind of like a garden. Adam, or Jesus, grew. Only the difference is, is that Mary and Jesus never sinned the way that Adam and Eve did. Mary would never get ruined like that first garden was. The first garden had everything that Adam and Eve wanted to be happy. Well now, in this second garden, the garden of Mary, we have the one person that we need to be happy. Jesus. That's who we need to be happy. In that first garden, Adam and Eve had all the food they needed. They didn't need to eat from that tree. Well, inside of Mary, Jesus is the bread of life. He's the Eucharist we get here at Mass. He's the food that's better than any other food. The food that helps lead us to heaven. And this mystery of God creating Mary... To be like a new and beautiful garden that would never get ruined by sin. We call that mystery the Immaculate Conception. That's what we're celebrating today. The Immaculate Conception. That Mary would be without sin her entire life. And that reminds us that we have the hope too. Of being able to get away from sin. Not that we were like Mary and that we were immaculately conceived. Nope, we weren't like that. All of us were born with original sin. That's why we needed to get baptized, to get rid of that. But even after we're baptized, even after we become part of God's family, we still choose to think sinful thoughts sometimes. And we choose to say sinful words to each other. 
and we choose to do sinful things. Sometimes by what we do, and sometimes by what we, we fail to do. But that's why Jesus came. And that's why Jesus died for us. So that he could help us get away from that. To help us be freed like Mary. Now, that's one of the reasons why earlier this week we had the sacrament of reconciliation. Right? We go to confession. So that Jesus can get in there and, and, and help get rid of all that sin. So that we can be a little less like fallen Adam and Eve. And we can be a lot more like Mary. And that's what he wants to help us do. We, to become perfect just like Mary is perfect. So we can be with Jesus and her in heaven. As we celebrate her immaculate conception, we want to make sure that we ask Mary to help us to make our hearts like a hole, like a garden, for Jesus to come and live inside of us. That we can be a garden where we show the love of Jesus and Mary and share it with other people around us.